he, he came to my first Masters of the Journey meeting on October 1st. I didn't know who he was. I didn't understand him. <laughs> when T. Hill told me if I didn't pay attention to him, I was a nut job. I didn't say it that way. <laughs> well, she told me that, that I, should, I should meet Ralph. And I had a session with Ralph as an energy healer on Thursday. And I didn't know what to expect. But I walked out of there in a different state of consciousness. It was a very interesting process. And I invited him to, to just introduce some stuff, maybe give us a shot of it. And then, and then maybe more in the future, uh, as, as, as time allows. I'll go sit down. Okay, I'm going to bring my chair over here. I'll go, I'll go sit over here. Okay, so uh, yeah, thank you, John, and thank you everybody for uh, having me here. I really appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, so um, my name is Ralph Havens, and um, I'm... Um, I'm a physical therapist since 1985, but I um, started down a road that went kind of um, like take one foot, it's something you don't know, and then there's like, well, there's nothing there, and like that. So I've kind of done that, and it was all in a um, um, couple of different things. One was I wanted to fix up myself. So I had some things going on that maybe seemed like not great um, things that you would have, certain traits that were like, um, that seemed to be coming up with me, like you know, how I was. And um, so I had this thing that somehow God or grace or something um, put me on this path to um, see what that was all about and um, shift it and, and then see how that was a gift to um, get me where I was. The other, um, I forgot what the other one was already. So, so, what, I, so what, what, um, what John was talking about with uh, grace, I think that's what we're playing with with what I use. So the word is matrix energetics is where um, the world really got upside down for me and went like, whoa. Um, it had already done that for about 10 years from 2000, 2010 with the body of work, integrated manual therapy. But that was um, a lot of work. And uh, it, it, I'm glad I did it. And it gave me a lot of tools to see um, the body and see energies and to help shift things and work on things. But it was a lot of work. So what showed up in, in 2009 was this matrix energetics. and. Whenever I, I'd like to tell a little bit about what it possibly is, because ultimately I don't know, but it's kind of nice to like talk about it a little bit. And um, so, how do I do that? Yeah. So, when you think about what you are, um, I could ask you, what are you? Like, what, what am I? What are you? And you could think, well, um, I'm um, certain things, you know, like your name and your job and all that kind of stuff. You're also certain cells, like you've got cells in your body, right? And um, when you think of the cells, you've got atoms that are made out of the cells, or make, make up the cells. But what's interesting is um, the cells that we have right now are not the cell same cells and atoms that we had when we were born. And a lot of you have heard that, right? So if, if every single atom that you have right now um, isn't the atoms that you started out with, not even a single one, then what are you? I mean, it's like, you know, okay, that's interesting. And then even when you look at the atoms, um, you know, you, a lot of you have heard this, but the physics of the atoms nowadays, what they're finding is that they're mostly space, right? 99.999% space. Well, some of the stuff they're finding now is even the stuff that the protons and the neutrons in the middle of the, the atom um, is um, actually spinning around itself at the speed of light. And so even that is, is light. So, so when you check in, like, with what are we, um, I think that might be where we play with the stuff with matrix energetics. Where it's useful is that it can change things really fast. So, um, what in my process of, of um, finding out about this stuff and using it and, and playing with it and, and having it be what I do for my, my work, we started finding out some stuff. Like what, um, what we noticed was when we interact with people, we, I do a lot of talks and demos around town and I've done them for many years, back when we lived in San Diego. But um, what, um, what we started noticing was, if I play with somebody up here at the front, um, not only do they change, but everybody in the room has a shift. So what I invite you to do is um, check in and see if you could have something different for yourself. If something could change, um, what might that be? And it can be anything. It can be physical stuff, but it could be um, financial stuff, relationship stuff. Um, chronic condition stuff, um, 
family stuff, um, family's medical condition stuff. So I say that because um, my experience has been I'm working on somebody and then um, they come back and tell me what changed or they email me months later and not only did that change, but um, other stuff in those other worlds changed too. So we've seen it to be consistent. So, um, so what I would like you to do right now is um, test something. So you know, maybe everybody turn your head one way and the other way and see if something's a little tight. And then maybe raise your arms up. And, just, and what you're doing is doing a little pretest. And if you want to stand up, you're just going to check how you bend backwards and how you bend forward. And then, um, so we, you can sit down if you like. So if, um, so if something were to change for you now, um, what might that be? And if there was a way to test it, could you test it? Like if you can test it right now, I encourage you to test it right now. If it's something you have to check on later, like your finances or relationship with your mom or, or something else, um, keep your eyes open would be my recommendation and notice what you notice that's different. And, um, and then just kind of um, acknowledge it, notice it when it, when it shows up. When somebody shifts in a, in a shoulder or a neck or a back or a knee right up here, it's not just a shoulder or a neck or a back or a knee. What they found in physics now is that um, every proton has infinite mass in it. That's kind of weird, right? Like, you know how something weighs something? There's infinity in every single proton. That's what they're finding in physics. That's kind of weird. It doesn't make any sense up here. So how can you have infinity in every single proton? And there's infinite um, information and infinite potential in every single proton. That's what the physics is showing. And the physics, the, the proton is spinning around the speed of light. So that gets really weird. So in much the same way that um, Wi-Fi is right here, and I can open up the computer and um, Skype with somebody from China, or I can go across the street and Skype with the same person from China. I could go to my house miles away and Skype with the same person from China. I have no idea how Skype works or that computer works, but I, you know, but I can still use it. So, so that's what this stuff is kind of like. It's like, I don't know what this is at all, but it's useful and I know how to use it. So, um, so when, when we play with somebody up here, um, let's do that first and then, um, and then we'll recheck what you guys want to ship. So truly, I ask you, um, what do you want? And if it changed, 